the question, very, very simple question, is uh, what is uh, elevated genres or what does elevated genre films means? I think there's many qualities that make any film, whether it's genre or not, elevated because you could have for example, a comedy that is not elevated or a comedy that is elevated. Um, so I think it has something to do with uh, theme, perhaps. These are kind of, I don't know for a fact, but I'm guessing I think it has something to do with theme. Uh, it has something to do with uh, the human relationships and how they're like, are they, you know, anywhere from terrible slasher movie, like uh, teenagers getting slashed at the cabin uh, with very flat character development. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you have like hereditary where you have very complicated drama. Um, theme is the same thing. It's like, there's no theme or the theme is very complex and about race, like get out for example. Um, and um, maybe also the cinematic style, which is difficult to describe, but it's like, is the cinematic style very Hollywood or very like avant-garde and like very like David Lynch or very like experimental or something like that or versus like a very traditional Hollywood style. So maybe those are the categories I would try to put on it is like um, everything from the emotion to the quality of the filmmaking itself. I don't know. That's great. And I'm taking notes so we can explore more uh, more that. Uh, what, uh, what do you think, Oscar? What, how, how? Uh, to, yeah, to be honest, it's the f like uh, I because I, I didn't hear like the word like elevated for films that much, but I get like the I don't know if is it a word like commonly used uh, a lot? Like maybe I would say it's not commonly used. It's used in in, in some ways in the industry, mm. uh, and uh, I can I can actually give you guys a definition that I found online that I think is interesting and we can go from there. So elevating your script or your films often means that you have combined two genres or hooks to create a more dynamic story than you ha you'd who you would have otherwise. Making something elevated means the writer took a basic concept or basic story and combined it with something really interesting and original to make it a completely different. So every Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a way, that's that's yeah. You could you could say that because uh, I think Christopher Nolan. I had a conversation yesterday with a, a friend about that. Oh, okay, I thought you had a conversation with Nolan yesterday. I was like, why are we oh, not talking says. about this sooner? <laughs> like uh, this should yeah. be the first thing. You Actually, should... he's on the uh, waiting list. Let me have. <laughs> oh my, that would be unbelievable. <laughs> well, we'll get there in a few years. <laughs> soon, soon, soon. Sorry, what but, are we... uh, Going to your comment, and, and I'll let you uh, continue, uh, Oscar, but going to your comment on Nolan, I had a conversation yesterday about a, a product I'm developing, and the person was saying, it's like a Christopher Nolan story. You need to have your thriller element to it like you're engaging with the story but you need to have this philosophical or thematical uh, element to your story so it feels uh, more uh, deep and uh, impactful to the audience so uh, I'll give you an example Insomnia uh, was a very classic uh, uh, in, uh, serial killer uh, cop versus serial story with this elevated or uh, philosophical element about guilt and the, the protagonist in, in Insomnia he's struggling with uh, an ability to sleep as a way to metaphorically talk about his own guilt of having killed his, his uh, partner so that's an example but uh, I could go with Interstellar Interstellar is a great example. It has that very sci-fi element of time travel and space, but it's not just about uh, trying to go through space and save humanity. It's about a relationship between a dad and, and mm. daughter. So it has that human element that you were talking about, Alessio. So uh, yeah, what, what do you get? What do you think, Oscar, about, about about that, or how would you 
what would you make for you an elevated genre films? Um, yeah, uh, well, I definitely agree with you about uh, about Nolan, uh, and I think it's like uh, it's like it's almost kind of like every every single one of his movies like taking a genre, like a genre in a broader sense. Like sometimes it's like uh, uh, you know, as you were saying, it can be sci-fi, but it can only, only also can be like you know, thriller, like film noir, like a bit like Memento, or like you know, like different different genres, and like kind of subverting it with a very like personal as you were saying, like philosophical thing that I guess he read and is interesting in, and like a lot about personality, identity, and like how, uh, you know, like your identity within the, the, the society and how, how the relationship between, you know, I, yourself and, and the bigger society, I guess. For me, when, when you said that, I kind of think of all the contemporary uh, Korean films, you know, like of, uh, Bong Joon-ho and Park Shadu can always forget like the the third famous one, um, but like all those films like in a different way what what Nolan is doing you know like Bong Joon-ho like I, I don't know if you guys seen the host but like taking a very monster movie and and making a whole um, uh, ecological comment like Godzilla was like years ago and and, and with nuclear uh, bomb and and so like taking this very you know codified genre and 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 with all its you know like if, if it's the spy movie you have like the chase you have the the dinner table at uh, james bond where like somebody knows that another person doesn't know that he knows that she knows etc and and you use all those tropes uh, and you don't like you know deny you know you're you're not doing like a full experimental thing you're like using the codes and rules of the genre and like fitting uh, specific, very, you know, uh, uh, meaningful uh, and elevated ideas within this and using the the codes of the genre to express your ideas. So like um, in, in this, like uh, uh, the host, like it's not just the monster movies, which like eats everyone. It's like you have this very explicit even because Bong joon is pretty explicit, I think, when, when he goes for like uh, symbolic and you have like people in the beginning who like uh, there is like a weird thing happening in the Han River, like the river in Seoul, and uh, and one like throw his can and something happens, and so like everyone, but everybody like really like sheeps or like all like throwing their cans are garbage because like something is happening, like really like people are completely alienated to 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 their action and the meaning of their action, and then you have the monster which finally rise up. I don't know exactly how it happens, but but you have this very. Uh, uh, common elements of the genre and you like embed like in every like uh, thing that you've seen like hundreds of times you know like a, a portrait or like a, a, a fight or like whatever like which fits your the, the genre whether it's horror or something else and you you try to fit your specific personal ideas within uh, those codes that's that's how I view the thing yeah this is this is a uh, this is completely true like I like what you're saying about the tropes code of the genre because I tend to when I develop projects I tend to be seduced by those uh, I would say structural narrative elements of a thriller or a horror and I like uh, the novelty of adding something to that either a narrative twist or a, an angle that you haven't seen uh, um, I'm trying to find an example. I mean, you were talking about also Memento. Memento is a perfect example. It's a film noir. Memento is a, per is a film noir. You mm -hmm. have Femme Fatale, you have The Investigator, you have all those elements. The ally who, who is not an ally, but who betray the protagonist. You have all those codes, coding elements that you will see in any film noir movie. But then the twist is... He, he decided that the investigator will be investigating himself, which is already quite an interesting twist. And he had to that, the fact that his, the story will be told in reverse. Uh, there is an old movie from the 80s called uh, uh, Angel Heart. I don't know if you ever saw that movie with uh, Robert De Niro and uh, uh, Mikey, Mickey Rourke. And also it has that element of guy investigating in his own self and making a self-discovery so um i i would agree completely with that i think uh, again we're, we're thinking through the, the concept of 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 uh, 
elevated jar and I, I took some notes that we can we can act after this call review together it's just it feels like it's, there is an there is there tends to have a narr narrative twist or a, a narrative angle that hasn't been explored before while while um, while using uh, the codes and the trope of, uh, of a genre of a, an existing 